Hey, this is Simon from The Bracketeer coming at you from South OC Cars and Coffee. Happy New Year, everybody. This is our first Cars and Coffee for 2018. Uh, great way to start. We have some exceptional cars here today, including two 918 Porsche. So let's swing the camera around and have a look at the amazing turnout. Parking lot's nearly full. Uh, great way to start the year, as I said. Um, biggest, biggest for a long, long time. So let's check out what we've got here today. So what a way to start 2018. We've got not one, but two of these amazing Porsche 918s. This particular one, so, so beautifully spec. Interior is incredible. These uh, green highlights on this car, such an amazing looking thing, the 918. Interesting though, I mean, they were, I guess, Porsche's fastest car, but we recently saw that that GT2 RS uh, did a faster time on Nürburgring than the uh, this 918 hypercar. So amazing. Next to it, Tony's um, brand new uh, 991 Mark II GT3. Beautiful colour. Really nicely spec. Six speed manual, which of course they took away from Porsche for a, for a little while. Over here we have another really lovely Porsche. And then here is this second 918 that we've got. This one all in black. Um, amazing brakes on these things. So of course these cars, the, the thing that makes them, things that makes them uh, stand out is the fact that they are actually a, a hybrid. They use uh, electric assist as well as the uh, the gas powered engine, obviously to um, help them with acceleration. In this class, I guess you've got the uh, this Porsche 918, you've got the McLaren P1, and you've got the La Ferrari. This out of the, all three of them is the only all-wheel drive. So when they've done quarter mile tests, this thing gets out of the hole quicker because it's able to get all its power to the ground. But once you get the size of the brakes on this thing, such a beautiful car. And of course, there's so much from a design perspective in this vehicle that is um, uh, pays homage to the Carrera GT. Uh, which is of course another uh, famous car and of course unfortunately one of the claims to fame is that was the car that Paul Walker tragically lost his life in. Um, they, they called them a widow maker because the Carrera GT it really only had to hit a pebble on the road and they, they were um, easy to get out of control. Okay, moving right along. Beautiful Audi R8 next to a GT4 we have here. A really pretty looking car. Um, a Caterham, the guys from uh, Hillbank have brought these along. If you are looking for a track day car that's a whole lot of incredible value for money and a whole lot of fun, you just cannot go past a Caterham. They, uh, this particular run, one runs a little uh, two litre um, engine that's uh, designed by Ford, but they're so light. Um, they are predictable, they are safe, they are fun, amazing. They've got a really high, uh, high performance one as well um, that's apparently out of this world. Beautiful MG here with those lines. performance um, this beautiful slab side which means it's a Cobra like the uh, the Shelby Cobra but it's it's called a slab side because it has these, has these beautiful flat lines on the side of it uh, it doesn't have such um, wide flared um, wheel arches and then this interior um, and gauges last week we featured um, featured the super performance uh, range of vehicles and one of the things they, they pointed out was that the original Shelby version of these had Stuart Warner, Warner gauges, which this does as well. Um, and the later ones, they actually use um, uh, another brand of gauges. It just slips my mind, and they they were um, so they changed the gauges in the Super Performance equivalents. Supra, um, Porsche, whole row of Porsches here. Really, really beautiful looking cars. Another one. Another one. Someone stole his engine. That 993C2. Another one here. And another one. Really nice older Carrera here. Another Porsche. Beautiful one. A little 914. <coughs> this looks good. It's got a similar colour scheme we just saw on that 918. 911 Turbo S. And another one. Another 914. Great lineup of cars along here. Uh, Lamborghini and then Mustang. Thank you, thank you so much for moving your car before. Really appreciate it. And uh, here we have a really nice looking. 
Ferrari. Lovely lines, really beautiful looking car. Look at that. Um, jumping over the other side, uh, Corvette. Great car, this one. Check that out. Now, the real standout of this particular Corvette, you walk alongside, it's a you know, beautiful lines, and then you come down underneath here. Look at the rubber on this thing, just incredible. So much tire hidden under, under this thing. Great looking car. Okay, and we'll keep moving. Mustang, it's a Cobra, another Porsche, it's beautiful old. Vintage Ford here. And then Viper. And an Aston Martin. And Supra. Serious engine going on under there. Another Porsche. Another beautiful little bathtub Porsche here. 914. Really nice Corvette. Wonderful smoke in the band of Trans Am. 79, I think it is. Beautiful little Fiat Microbus we featured as Car of the Week previously. Um, this thing is absolutely amazing. Just such a tiny little car. And yet, if you look inside of it, But still, six people in that little thing. Absolutely incredible. Morning! And Corvette. And it's a really nice uh, kit car running an LS engine in the back of it. Another Corvette, C7, another C7, another C7. It certainly it's the morning of Porsches this morning. Hellcat Charger. Running that Lamborghini V10. We've got Paul's El Camino next to a Mustang running a supercharger on the top. BMW, that uh, M Series V10 there. Boss 302. Excuse me, guys. Another Mustang here. So from the uh, New to the old, it's a beautiful 289 in this in such great condition. What a lovely car. Interior. Really nicely done. Yeah. Really lovely car. There goes that beautiful little MG. Pictures of my own car, indeed. <laughs> no, I'm good, thank you. Uh, some, it's a really nice looking Carrera 4S. Really nice interior in this thing, look at that. Very, very, very nice. Love the contrast of the red and black. Uh, great plate on that, try me. So a Mustang next to a uh, little Austin Healey bug-eyed Sprite. Two front on it. Yes. yes. Instead of going through that, you know, yeah. spraying more, you know. <laughs> That's interesting. Really cool. Love seeing all of these things that people are doing this work on a, a Cobra. Really cool. Cool little uh, Jeep, I think this is. Check it out. Very cool. Little Willys. Chevelle. E-Type, Scion FRS, P65, uh, Mustang Fastback, GT350 H replica, another Cobra, uh, GTI,
Wave Riviera. Beautiful engine in that, that intake. Now this is really cool. We saw this come in before. This is a Buick 8. And this is running one of the new uh, big block Chevs. This is a 572. So it's still an original, it's still a big block um, format. Um, but 572 cubic inches crate motor. Great, great motor out of the, out of the crate. Big horsepower. Really nicely done. The interior looks great. It's got some serious rubber on the back of it. Not something you see every day. So really nice to see somebody who's obviously done a lot of work to that. Such an imposing grill on the front of that thing. Check it out. Corvette. Really cool looking old truck. That's what I call him. That old truck. Running. Look at that flathead in there. How cool is that? It's great to see. Really cool old T-Bucket here. Running a 327 small block Chevy in there. Another cool Ford truck. GMC truck. Running a small block Chevy in there. Great little thing. And. Cutlass Supreme. Porsche. Another really nice Porsche in that orange. Chevrolet SS. GT350 Mustang, really nice Corvette. Ah, oh, this is this Skyline we've seen before. Two, two of them side by side. The original GTRs. So people often think that the GTR, they don't know that the GTR existed before things like the R232 and R34. So here we have um, a couple of them. Look at these side drive weapons on this thing. Absolutely incredible. Get the camera to swing around here. Check that out. Amazing. So this one here is actually a four-door, and then the one next to it, the GTR, is the, uh, the two-door. So some of the early heritage, little uh, Toyota J's, four GT, another Porsche, really nice. 66 Chev two-door, big fan of the 60, 66, they were my favorite in this era. Just such imposing lines, such a great looking chrome grill. Uh, easy to tell the difference between a um, 65 and a 66. If you uh, if you look at the tail lights on a 66, they're actually these big slab tail lights that are just above the bumper. Um, in these era of Impalas, the one before this, the 65, actually had three tail lights across the back of it, um, across here. And then they went to these sort of slab tail lights and obviously the, the, the public didn't like it as much. So in the following year in the 67, with the update, they put three tail lights across in the actual bumper bar, which was slightly higher. I love the lines on this car. They're just such imposing, big, big American chrome from the mid 60s. GTR Skyline. Great power to weight ratio. Um, you know, for me, nothing still beats an M3, and I love the M5s as well. But some of these little one series and two series that BMW are doing now, particularly with the M spec, incredible power to weight ratio, and really the light little cars that you throw throw around a track. Um, RB26 in this skyline. This is incredible. So this is back in the days when, of course, the skylines had that inline six, not the V6. Just an amazing engine in that in the R32 and the R34. So much capability um, for really, really, really big horsepower, and yet still in a level of simplicity. I mean, the recipe was pretty simple. It was an inline six, and it was a ton of boost, and you you got big horsepower and a, and a good power to weight ratio. Now the R35 is obviously a, a more competent car, but it's a bit like comparing I don't know something like an, an F40 Ferrari to something newer. Something new was going to be faster, but there was something raw about the, the F40 that, that made it a real driver's car, and the same applies for these R32s and R34s. Huge, great big Lincoln Continental here. Absolutely massive. And just about needs to do parking lots. This beautiful 427 turbojet, big block Corvette. Uh, BMW that somebody's obviously going to go do some, uh, some wakeboarding on. That's kind of cool. Nice little M3, great colour. Really nice colour. Love the the rear on these cars. The way they changed subtly, changed the the line on these things with that um, 
with that, that rear on these. And, and the same with the front, that flaring that they did here just looks so good. Big old van. Expect Scooby-Doo and the crew to jump out of it. Pretty 64 um, El Camino. Running a 283, small block in that. And uh, just Rochester four barrel. Great looking car. Just really clean. Really, really clean. Yeah, look at the old the, the washer bottle down in here. That's cool. There's one that, that's an over, it's like spare, spare antifreeze for there. Kind of cool. Here's the 442 about to leave that we've seen a few times. Then we've got this really, really nice Star Chief um, Pontiac. Once again, beautiful, imposing lines, lots of chrome. Just such a lovely looking car. Now, a lot of these cars for the longest time were looked over because guys want to try five Chevys. And yet, for me, it, there's something really special about this car because it's not as common. You look at the interior inside it, it's just, uh, just really lovely. Look down under there. I'm guessing that's probably the speaker for the radio, but it could be the heater, I'm not 100% sure, but just push button radio on there. Really, really Beautiful colour too. Z06, interesting colour combo, red interior with blue. Um, cool from Boss Bird and Mustang. A couple of combis, one was leaving, another one here. Great variety of combis this morning. Look at this. It's become such a collector's item. And we're going to need to talk to the guy with the uh, little uh, Nissan about not revving. Cool looking uh, combi, little tiny Fiat 500, the original Fiat, Beetle, 68 Camaro in Haga Orange, and then uh, Mustang Convertible here, it's a cool looking old Chevy just driving out, and also a 67 uh, Camaro just leaving. Cool looking car. Okay. Come around this side and uh, have a look what we've got here. One of the new Mazda Miatas next to this uh, very rare uh, Firebird with that um, inline six uh, that was developed by uh, John DeLorean. A little FRS, a little uh, uh, Subaru BRZ, and a Cobra that's just leaving us. And uh, what have we got here? A couple of Beetles, a Thing, another Combi. Now this is really interesting, we saw this pulling before. It's a little Capri, check this thing out. Look at the interior of this thing. Isn't that great? What a great car. <laughs> Just love when we see these cars that uh, you don't normally see on the road here. Beautiful colour, just so so period correct. Crazy looking thing, little Capri. So it's a console Capri. Of course Ford in, Ford in the UK built Capris, we had those in Australia as well. Had this uh, really quick little V6 in them, but guys used to put 351 V8s in them. Uh, Chevelle, little MGB. A bit of patina on there. Uh, El Camino, uh, Ford with that inline six, Pontiac Firebird, Corvette. This is uh, the rebody of a newer Corvette with an older style on it. Corvette, a couple of really cool looking Vipers. This thing, uh, this thing, serious track car. The Viper, of course, unfortunately has been uh, finally discontinued by uh, the guys at Dodge, but. It still remains the only US car in the top 10 at Nürburgring. I've got a funny feeling that the Ford, new Ford GT uh, or the new uh, Corvette ZR1 may actually get up to the car. But very, very uh, capable car. It's another one of these Skylines with that RB26 uh, 
engine. Really pretty looking uh, Shelby Mustang, look at that. Great looking car, great color. Another Porsche. 69 uh, C28, just leaving. Beautiful, bright metallic blue. Great car. 302 in those things, of course. Another one of these nice little M3s. Those beautiful uh, lines on the side with the clear. This has got some uh, really cool carbon fibre work done on the hood as well, which is, which is kind of good. And some serious race set up in it as well. Full roll cage, sport seats. Uh, carbon fibre, tiny mirrors on the side of it as well, so um, kind of cool. Uh, very, very, very cool Chevy truck sitting here. Um, bug catcher hanging through the hood, which is kind of cool. Obviously running on air ride. Let's take a look at that because they've got the back of it all set up um, so we can look at it. So if we uh, we look down at this thing, we can see uh, the air tank we've got here. Two compressors, the rear end in there. Um, but the... Uh, the way that this is set up, fuel tank back here, obviously, battery here. So, notice the way the chassis would normally run all the way along here. This bit up, out of here is designed so you can dump it down into the weeds. So, nicely done. Very cool. So, there goes that Lamborghini. What a nice green. What a pretty car. LP610. 10 horsepower. Uh, next to it is very track capable uh, Hellcat. Full roll cage in this thing. Very cool looking car. Porsche. Mustang. Another Mustang. 66. Uh, we have a Lexus. Another GT350. Uh, Honda S2000 with a serious uh, rear spoiler on it. And then a cool Shelby that uh, sort of signature roll page they did these things. Okay, coming over to this side, the motorcycles have decided they're gonna bring themselves over here, which is kind of cool. We'd like to keep them on the other side, but we're not being real strict with that as long as drivers are careful. The reason we put them in separate areas to prevent drive, uh, cars backing into us happened a couple of weeks ago in this parking lot, not part of Cars and Coffee, fortunately. But, uh, another little Miata, cool Mustang, Volkswagen, Cool El Camino that came in. Another Mustang convertible, 289 in that. Great looking. Look at this thing here. Dodge Brothers. No Chrysler. That's what I thought. Look at that interior. Love all those cloth covered. Beautiful car. Full of cloth covered, covered uh, high tension leads and spark plug leads. Love the interior in it. That beautiful wood grain dash. <laughs> Isn't it such a pretty car? Yeah, exactly. And then you have what you call the mother in the seat in the back. And it yeah, serves two that, purposes. Yeah. It means you don't have to listen to her when she's in the back there. And you're and if, range. Yeah, and if, and if and she gets annoying, you simply wait till there's a big Kenworth or Peterbilt behind you and slam on the brakes. Perfect. But uh, yeah, that yeah. one, no, and people are sitting in the back of these and they get rear ended and they pause, of course the person in the back would get either their backs broken or their legs broken. So yeah, crazy. You said this is original paint. Original paint, wow. Is that something else? That, back in the days when they used to lacquer and, them. And he's the second owner. <laughs> second. He bought, it, he bought yeah. it in 62. Yeah, see, that's pretty special. So he's owned that's it in 62, small. second owner. Original paint. Yeah. You're the original owner of this car? Yes, sir. What a great car. And you bought it in 1962? Yes, sir. And, and who was the original owner? Do you know? Arthur Beasley, lived in New York City. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. That is, and it's original paint. Original paint, original upholstery. The only thing new on the car is uh, the edge of the tires. Yep. But in, in, the, in 1965, yes, I had the car for three or so years, I got everything re -chromed. Did you? Yep. Everything was right. All the chrome. Was, even though it's garage in New York City, the high humidity did a job on the chrome. Yep, right. But the chrome is over 50 years old. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. It's such a beautiful car. It's just, I mean, it's just so beautifully balanced in, in that mix of originality and yet the, the condition of it is still so, so good. I love the trunk on the back. Just everything about this car is, is awesome. So it's a 1931 Chrysler. Chrysler model is CM, CM is the model. CM is the model. That's great. They made bigger Chrysler, they had straight eights. 
much more expensive. But this is one of the smallest cars they made. Although it still costs nine hundred dollars new. Well, yeah, right. Wow. Well, well, you can buy a Ford or a Chevy for five hundred. You know, so didn't sell too many of them when you could. Why, why buy a nine hundred dollar car if you could buy a good car like Ford or a Chevy for five hundred? Yeah, and that was that was challenging. Yeah. I love the the fact that the rear window wound down in the back of the car as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. And the and the and the steps to get up into the into the rumble seat in the back. What a great looking car. Thank you so much for bringing it out. Really, really pretty car. Wow. That's incredible. Look at that. Okay. We've got a... Uh, on the last of the, the Thunderbirds here. Hellcat. Mercedes. Ford Korea. Cool. Challenger RT with a 344 barrel. Great looking 69 Camaro. Somebody's had a lot of work out. Got that beautiful RS front end on it. We're running this very cool looking big block. Very capable looking car. Interior is really nice and done. Beautiful leather in there. Running a six speed, which is cool. So, really cool. They've actually kept a big block in this thing rather than other guys are doing LS transplant. They put this big block in there, but they put a six speed behind it, which is cool. Massive aluminum radiator. Right Great looking car. Nice colour as well. Really nicely done. Okay, Mustang. Now, this is a super Corvette. Um, interesting car. So somebody's had a lot of um, one of only four ACS prototypes. This particular car, um, big wide body on it. Um, you know, personal tasting. Obviously, not everybody may necessarily like the changes they've done. But once again, somebody give somebody some credit for putting a lot of work in it. They put the, the scissor doors in it. Um, you know, a lot of time and effort's gone into this. It's, it's uh, certainly an interesting car. That's for sure. The work that's been done under here, a lot of fiberglass, extra fiberglass for you. Little Hyundai. Here goes this little Capri. Look at that. Okay. So, Subaru, uh, Subaru uh, WRX. Another Mustang. Z06. Another Z06. So we went go from a C7 to a C6. Another really nice looking. Um, Firebird here, check that out. Running an LS transplant, we're just talking about that before, so um, I'm guessing it's an LS1 or LS2 in this thing. It's uh, an interesting Hummer. A little Lotus Alain next to another little Lotus Alain. Great little tiny little car. Lotus Spirit, this one, sorry. Then a newer uh, Lotus here. Great powder ratio, weight ratio, incredible track car. Uh, Mustang. Really cool um, old Pontiac. Another Mustang. And then jumping over here, we've got a, a Trans Am and another uh, Challenger, Porsche, and then uh, a little Porsche here. And Camaro, 2010 Camaro, uh, Focus, GTI. Acura Integra. Serious engine work done under there. Porsche. Cadillac. Mercedes. Jaguar. Porsche. Another Porsche. It's GT4. Oh, these uh, Thunderbirds. It's the last of that, that era of Thunderbird, as I mentioned before. Uh, C6 Corvette. Another Corvette. This one running a 327 small block, great engine. Um, still cranking those things. I don't think they had a full bolt main. That was the only thing that was, uh, was uh, challenging to build them, but they used to rev. Another 327 in this one. Uh, Z06 uh, running that um, LT4 supercharged engine. C7, uh, C7 Grand Sport. Another C7. And then some. Six, another C7, Z06, and then an LS7, which is the um, uh, 427 um, engine, which the uh, last people had to use. Oh, it's a huge couple hundred thousand dollars now. Very
very cool looking Bronco. Check this thing out. Beautiful color. Some really cool suspension work on it. The paint is just lovely. Massive beadlock wheels. Check that out. Really nicely, not interior's been nicely done. That cross stitch. Really, really nicely done. Great looking truck. Very cool. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, My son being a lucky, we can get that out and edit a little uh, truck on air ride. Oh, thank you so much, Mount Master. Uh, BMW, another BMW, that M3. These were such an iconic car. 335 next to it, of course. Nice wheels on it, and interior. Okay. Mustang Audi R8 and then a Supra here running some serious plumbing. Check that out. Massive turbo over oh, Very cool. Uh, another Mustang. Evo, I think that is. And then another Porsche. And then. Uh, Small block Chevy in there. I'm guessing that's a Lexus. Really pretty little Alfa Romeo. Infinity. Lexus. Uh, I'm guessing it's a Nissan. It could be an Infinity. A little Duke. Some serious work done to it. Somebody obviously loves this little car. And done a heap of work. It's got a wrap on it. Big wheels. Hyundai, another BMW, really nice color. The uh, 5 Series in this era with that beautiful 4 litre, which this is, the 540, such a great engine in those cars. Such a great engine. It just mechanically faultless. Really great car. Massive big Lexus here with that imposing grill on that thing. Ferrari, 458 Italia, one of the most pretty cars. Good morning. I've just got to. Uh, Keep rolling with the video, but look at this beautiful car. Look at that. And you brought that, you brought this is yours today? Yes, sir. That's a pretty car, lovely spec. Thank you. Really pretty car. Are they still, I still like the 458 more than the 488 personally. I do too, because I, I drove it for you before I bought this. Did you? This is a better car. A better car, and the most important thing, it still sounds like a Ferrari because it's naturally aspirated. Exactly. Yeah, they're just such a great car. And I think I think this will go down in history as one of the prettiest Ferraris of all time. I think when the auctions are going on in another 30 years time, just like we see Ferraris now pulling millions of dollars, I think that car, while there's a lot of 458, so they never may never get to those massive numbers, that will be what people want to get. Not so much the Californias, I don't think, but the, the 458, particularly if they're custom spec. What about the Lambo? We'll come and talk about Lambos in a moment. All right. Roush supercharger on that Mustang. Porsche. Jeff's Reptilicon, this amazing, amazing Jeep that was uh, built up for SEMA a few years ago. And Jeff's uh, looked after meticulously, really nice looking Mercedes there, two door Mercedes. Next to another Mustang. 430 Spider. Um, David's spectacular little Dino. Isn't that just beautiful? Wonderful color, just wonderful condition. Such a lovely looking car. Even the tires, it looks like they just make a long enough. But just, look at that car. Just such, such pretty lines. That back window, the way that it wraps in. Just an amazing, amazing. And another Ferrari. The old and the new. Mustang. The uh, 240Z. So another Z car. Some GTIs lined up in a row. Now this one's not. This is uh, the GLI. Uh, Camaro. Nice stuff. 
Focus RS and an ST Focus. We're just going to jump across the other side. And down this side we've got a, now from memory, I reckon that was a RX-8 we saw come in and I think it was right hand drive. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, right hand drive, check this out. So that uh, could have come from, uh, could have come out of uh, uh, China or a lot of those parts in Asia with a right hand drive. Shelby and a Challenger Mustang. Now this is really cool, I love this rod. Isn't that wonderful? Scion FRS Subaru BRZ. Another Subaru, another little GTI, another Ferrari uh, 308. Malibu with the 350 in it. It's cool flame work on that. M5. Now we heard this thing pulling earlier. This is an RX7 with a, an extremely tough LS transplant. So if we look down in this thing. Interestingly too, you notice they've done actually a mechanical throttle body, not an electronic like they do in a lot of the LSs. Um, it's a very similar manifold on this, this over here, a fast manifold over here as well on this Corvette. Um, and moving right along, we've got a Chevy SS, uh, R35 Skyline, Camaro with its 6.2 twin turbo, Lamborghini in a really, really, really pretty orange standout car. Porsche, another Lamborghini, on a white massive sporter on the back of that one. GTO, and then a couple of BMWs side by side. Tundra with a serious lift kit on it. M3, Targa on that Porsche, this great looking Mercedes we've seen before. It's got dumped in the weeds. Um, some serious Ferrari. Um, look at this, it's flat. Paintwork, and I don't believe it's a wrap, but it looks like it is actually the paintwork. I'm not going to start looking for areas, but no, it definitely looks like it's the paint, which is kind of cool. Uh, Cougar GT Lexus, the uh, little Mazda Speed 3, which ran that beautiful 2.3 liter uh, turbo engine Infinity. Um, Serious tr little track car here. Check this out. The rubber on the front of this thing. Wow. So no back window. It's an S2000. Somebody's done some incredible work to. Very cool. Uh, M3 again. Great looking car again. Just such a well set up car. I had a friend in Australia looking for a track car recently and that was uh, wanted something he'd have fun with. That's what he wanted. Uh, looks like um, somebody has a, a bladder problem here. This little Evo is leaking pollen unfortunately. Um, we've got some Nissans and Infinities along here. Another one as well. Corvette running that L88. Uh, interesting, this is actually a, probably a Scion uh, FRS but they put the Toyota badge and with the rest of the world it was sold as a Toyota 86 Mercedes with that V8 compressor so supercharged engine Nissan AMG with bio turbo very cool uh, Mustang Subaru WRX STI uh, nice looking really nice looking scat pat um, uh, charger I love this grey really suits the, the charger and suits also I think really suits the um, they do that as well in the Grand Cherokee great colour uh, another pretty Ferrari, some posing lines next to a Subaru Corvette. Really lovely, dark, dark green in this car. Nice, beautiful condition. Good morning. Uh, really cool looking Toyota Tundra. Seriously, you love the wheels on this thing. Great. Color they used to use, uh, paint the color they used to paint the old land. 
Land Cruisers in, so it just works so well. Um, a Challenger, a Ford Focus RS, very quick little car, of course. Great looking 57 Chevy. Um, check out the uh, the way they've done these twin air cleaners. They're probably the old oil filled styled air cleaner. Um, but also this uh, netting at the front of the radiator is an in insect screen. How cool is that? What a great looking accessory that was. Beautiful looking car, still running the original Ooh, style man, um, generator down here, not, not an alternator. And that interior, oh my goodness. Once again, all color coded. Just such a beautiful looking car. Beautiful, man. What a lovely car. Right, Corvette. Great looking car as well. And then uh, Gen 5 Camaro. And we're nearly towards the end. BMW. And Ferrari. And a Corvette. And a GTO. And then a Mercedes and another Scion. So that's it for another week at South OC Cars and Coffee. Thanks so much for joining us. Don't forget to support the outlets. Do all your shopping there that you possibly can. Thanks also for Ruby's for bringing out the coffee and the donuts. Make sure to not to speed, no burnouts. Last week you may have seen that we actually caught somebody, or well the outlets caught somebody who was doing a burnout in the parking lot. There's over 100 cameras here. If you leave any black marks, you will be prosecuted and you will be charged $1,100 per mark for any mark you leave here. Uh, last week, somebody did it. They got their license plate and they, they are being pursued by the law. Uh, thanks again, everybody, for coming out. Great day. Two 918 Porsches, which is really, really special. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee.